What is a Perfect 100 IQ Club? It's Dakar here with yet another banger of a game. This time I'll be doing a full VOD review. Hopefully you can glean some info from it, and hopefully you enjoy. But first, TurboSmurfs.gg. That's TurboSmurfs.gg. Click the link, buy an account, buy an account today, use my code DKR15. And of course, Deepwool.gg, showing you the best builds with the coolest features and the cleanest looking site. That's Deepwool.gg. Full VOD review today, so let's get into it, huh? I am Rengar Jungle into Renekton Top, Rek'Sai Jungle, Oriana Mid, Lucian, Melio Bot. And that's a pretty standard comp. Our comp is going to be a little different. Syndra Top, Rengar Jungle, Azir Mid, and then the Samira Nautilus Bot. So, up against a more standard comp, Bruiser always has value. Just always. Um, one shot is going to be a bit better here into the Lucian Milio. Up against Ori, it depends on if she goes crown, but I don't see any reason she would ever do that against Azir. She wants, um, Leandries. And then up against Rek'Sai, one shot kind of sucks. Rek'Sai can just interrupt it. Like, until you have your Edge of Night, Rek'Sai wins the 1v1s. And then Renekton, obviously, you don't want to one-shot him. You want to bang with him, go in, uh tanky. So right here we got the leash, so I use the smite on the red buff rather than saving it for the uh, Krugs here, and that's because my stacks should look like this. See how I have three stacks after finishing the Krugs? I get to enter brush and I have my jump stack as well. So we get to use double W here, regular Q, and then <clears throat> for the clear you just sit here autoing the big raptor and then now pay attention top left see the HP I hit my last auto on any of those is gonna be when they're at 32 HP that makes sure that it uh, gets or what is it the little pet thing does the last tick and kills them run over here and I use both W's I, I generally use double W on the double camp but because Rek'Sai could do three camp into cheesy invade especially with the top lane priority that Renekton is gonna have I wanted to be a little more topped off as I cleared that uh, wolf camp. So we're just sitting here doing the blue, and we haven't seen Rek'Sai yet. Now, usually Rek'Sai would have gotten their uh, gank off on top by now, right? But the Syndra's been coasting the left wall. There he is. Chasing. Misses the Q. It's good for me. So we pull this. We got shoved away. And Rek'Sai thinks we're fully isolated. We just get to walk over. And Syndra gonna line up a nice little E here. I fucked up. I should have stayed in the brush there and then jumped on the wreck side. That would have been a, a much easier kill. Of course, it works out because it helps get the, uh... Oh, poor Renekton. It, it worked out here. Like, it was just, like, lucky in that wreck side ends up wasting flash and not surviving, which is really nice. But... I think correct gameplay, like assuming you're not a time-traveling demon, correct gameplay, I sit and brush and trust Syndra to land the E and then jump on Rek'Sai there for the one-shot. So that's definitely a mistake. This is a super lucky uh, start here. My only job, really, was to make sure that Syndra doesn't get completely screwed in the early game. Because she's a mage, right? She's a mage into the super... Not only, like, Super Bruiser Renekton, but the Super Bruiser Renekton who has had a four second cooldown buff to his E. So right here, our uh, first buy is the Spike Whip, Boots, Refill Pot, and so there are there are several game plans that you can have if you're going Bruiser, right? That is, early clear is just the full clear and no kills, nothing, which is gonna be just a pickaxe. If you get slightly ahead, you get an assist or a kill, you should have roughly 1100 gold, or you can at least wait until you have 1100, right? And that'll give you your iron spike whip. Now, if you're looking, you're sitting pretty like I was there, you're super accelerated, I'm way ahead on XP, way ahead on gold, I get my whip, my boots, and my refill pot. And then right here, <laughs> this is like so ridiculous. This guy's spoon feeds just. On a silver platter, he wraps this kill, says, here, kill me, kill me, and just dashes in and dies. God, what a simpleton, huh? What was that, Lucian? What was that, man? Like, I don't even know what his plan was there. Because let's say... Hmm. 
Maybe Rek'Sai just didn't show? I don't know. I really don't know. But anyway, he just hands us a free kill. We get full prio. They get the shove. And that is just... Uh, this whole game is going so well right now. <clears throat> Very lucky circumstances. More wards. The Ori's doing a good job of laying the wards down, but the uh, Azir's doing a really good job of scouting them for me. Now right here, look at this. See how the click, like, wouldn't happen? I think that's the Emperor Wall thing. Was messing with my inputs. Bot lane goes 2-0. We get a free kill at mid. Which is perfect, man. Perfect game circumstances. Now watch how I do the Drake. I pull it to the brush so that I can keep jumping and keep getting that extra stack. This is an enormous amount of additional rotations you get because you pull the, the thing. And then right there, that's a lucky spawn for it. Like, this whole game is just so lucky. But the uh, honey plant spawns directly next to me, so I can just kill it and run over all of them, and this doesn't interrupt my clear at all. Usually, if it's uh, in that top right spot, you see where the dragon is, just like at a 1 o'clock angle up against that wall, it's a little more difficult to pick those up, and it makes it a little less safe, you know? But right there, I'm, I'm perfectly safe. I have full HP doing thing. I get to do it as quick as possible. It's just, this is a sweetheart game. <clears throat> now, game plan. I have level 6. Rek'Sai should be level 4, level 5. Uh, very likely going to hit 5, right? Just assuming the Rek'Sai has been decently efficient with the clears. There's the 5. We get our jump. And poor little Rek'Sai just getting mogged on. And you don't have the plant here. So you are fucked, my man. The plant doesn't spawn until like 10 minutes now. Remember? We're going to look at the second rotation of his red. No Krugs. We threw the E, didn't get the stack, didn't keep our passive up, and didn't see the Krug, right? That means Krugs aren't up. <clears throat> Azir, clean little engage. He's just poking her out, beating her ass. Mid winning. Top winning slash even. Bot winning. Jungle winning. This game is over, assuming we don't greet. I enter brush, get the regular auto for the stack, so that I can use my four stack Q there. Just clear it as quick as possible. I want to be on the map. I don't really care about holding my four stacks to go get on this uh, this blue buff right. Mid just died, so there's zero chance of them rotating. I just want to be clearing. I want to be quick. We see Rek'Sai, and our rotation was going to be bot side to make sure that Rek'Sai cannot steal the red ray, and instead Rek'Sai just kills himself, goes bot, dies. So we're in no rush to get down the bot, we're in no rush to really get much of anything done, we just get the farm. One dame can't die. One dame can't die, I don't know what that means. See the ward, here's Oriana. Pay attention to the trade, jump in, E midair, Q as we land, use a W, and then 4 stack W, not the uh, 4 stack Q, right? I'm not looking to one shot her, because A, that's not going to happen, and B, I want to be topped off. I want as much HP as possible. Jump in, get the snare off, so that's 4 stack combo, enter brush, get the snare off, kill him. Because he's not level 6, so the snare is really nice there. You can't cleanse it. He's also squishy as hell. He's all alone. He did. It was Rek'Sai. Rek'Sai dying mid again. <clears throat> and this is after I stole Rek'Sai's red. I stole Rek Rek'Sai's raptors. And now... Smart of him to turn there. Just get as much damage as he can. Because he was he was guaranteed dead. But uh, Rek'Sai just died again. Which means it's just completely over. Rek'Sai is down like, what, 40 CS? Something like that? She didn't walk down further. She walked up. Otherwise, that kill would have been mine. Doesn't really matter, though. Team got a kill. So I've stolen red, raptors, romp, blue. Check uh, check wolves, not up. We're going to walk down, go get the scuttle, because it's right there. Uh, 
Ah, uh, poor Syndra. She finally got got, but she got she went one for one. So it doesn't even matter. TP from the Oriana. We see Rek'Sai. Well, we've got two camps in our bot jungle, whereas there's the, only the one camp at topside, and we can't contest that one camp. It's impossible to rotate up there in time to stop Rek'Sai from taking the prop. So don't even bother. Just say, fuck it, it's gone. I will accept it and move on. <clears throat> Rek'Sai moves straight to mid there, so we know that the wolves are up. We know that the rift is not being taken. Not yet, at least. So we might be able to rotate in time for that. Pickaxe here, uh, or pickaxe. Dirk here because we want to build towards the edge of night because they have the Melio and the Rek'Sai. Rek'Sai's uh, instant peel is just the unburrow that'll knock you up and interrupt your jump. Melio's is the little the ball thing, really annoying CC, right? Self peel. And so. Edge of Night counters both. <clears throat> Making absolute certain he took that Grom. Here he is. He's on the he's on the rift, man. Look at that 2 HP. Not everything went perfectly lucky this game, huh? Everyone we'll move over and lo and behold, nice one, Rex. This guy, man. He's so tilted. He's so insanely tilted off of the uh, the level three up at top. <laughs> now I'm tilted from that. <clears throat> Look at this, just mindless aggression. And of course, uh, he's kind of forced into that because he's Renekton and she's Syndra. So as a... as the quintessential bruiser, and he doesn't have his Prowlers anymore, right? The Prowlers technology. So Renekton is not really like this, this really strong late game carry. And in fact, he's not a late game carry at all compared to uh, what he once was in the past, right? Past like year and a half, two years ish. We know Red's coming up. I was hoping to cut him off as he walked to the uh, lane here, but he had his teleport. I'll just do a baby chunk. Lay it down. Now what I should have done there is touch one of those for the fourth stack, just to make sure I have four stacks even if I don't get into a brush. There we go. Oh, I just, oh, I just railed my knee, dude. Oh no, this is miserable. Here we go, we got the engage on Melio, he's dead. That's a 2-0 for the Samira. And the enemy team is 21-9. 21-9 at 13 minutes, dude. It's so over. It's Jover. It's like it's Jover for my knee, dude. I'm already decrepit and old. Now I gotta rail this thing on the fucking desk? Ow! Why is metal so hard? What the fuck? So yeah, quick and easy, quick and easy. This game, uh... I don't think Rek'Sai can do really much of anything into Rengar. Just because R Rengar can just go Gore Drinker, Black Cleaver, Ravenous Hydra, Essence Reaver, all these CD items, like this insane amount of both damage and CD. Damage, CD, Bruiser, HP, all that, right? Like, Rek'Sai doesn't have many options. Because Rek'Sai is forced into Stride Breaker and, like, basically pure damage. Or at least, that's what everybody does. I don't... I just don't think that's the build, man. Like, I I never really liked the Prowler's Claw on Rek'Sai, because once the game rolled around 25 minutes, it just felt like Rek'Sai became literally useless. The moment an ADC or a mage or someone can just turn and kill Rek'Sai is when the game is basically over for the Rek'Sai. Like, you no longer get to play the game, you know? I don't know. Bagar, move down, get spoon-fed a quick little kill, and this has been... All these fights, man, I just am... 
<laughs> I am spoon fed, hand wrapped, and delivered all these things. Amazon, swing a buy. Yeah, there it is. That's the game. And uh, that's, that's a nice quick 15 minutes FF, boys. Thanks for watching, chat, and I'll see you next time.